Ah, it's good to be back for more absurdity. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you watching at home, and for those of you in the studio today, live, watching this happen in real time, I appreciate you. Thank you. So, it's tax time again, and every year I like to mark the occasion by watching a marathon of the Saw movies. It always makes me feel a bit better to watch horrible things happen to other people while I'm crunching these numbers. If I were to die in a Saw movie, it'd be by the hands of my math teacher, drowning in a pit of receipts that he lights up to burn me alive because I didn't pay attention in class. <laughs> Justin Bieber's new Tim Biebs were discontinued after many complaints surged into the company from unknown females saying that the product resembled Mr. Bieber's actual testicles. <laughs> It seems after banging all those groupies on the road, his STI-riddled nuts may not seem that appetizing. I thought they were delicious. And in past news, on February 22, 2020, Daredevil and anti-NASA advocate Mad Mike Hughes proved the Earth is flat after crash-landing his self-made rocket into the flattest, hardest part of the Earth, killing him instantly. Round earthers say if Mike had crashed into a more rounded area, that Darwin's theory of evolution would still have been proven once again. We'll miss you, Mike. Mitch the Iceman Varigan here for more absurdity. And this month, I'm breaking out my top gun. Yes, of course, I could only be talking about the truth, absurd as it is. I got a little haircut, preparing myself for some hot weather, instead of why I used to cut my hair, for acting. You see, there was a time not too long ago where you may have seen me on the small screen playing a crispy chicken-loving downhill ski dancer or a sensitive cowboy that masked his feelings behind machismo. But here I am now delivering the news. I don't know how it's come to this, but here we are. So with that, let's begin this month's Absurdity Observer, brought to you in part by Cobra Water. <laughs> Feel the strike. I wish I had me a refreshing glass of Cobra water right now. Oh, what's this? I do! <laughs> what do you say, Bob? Should I uh, have me a little strike? It's like Brill Cream, just a little dabble, do ya? Mmm. <laughs> For those about to rock, we salute you. Oh! That was really good cobra water, uh, Bob. I tell you what, you should have yourself a strike. Ah, all right. Thank you, cobra water. Google Docs begins rolling out a new feature called Inclusive Language, where the language you use within the Google document may be given inclusiveness warnings if non-inclusive language is used. And options may be given on how to correct your language. One example of what Google is doing now is if a user types landlord or mankind into their Google Docs, they will get the inclusiveness warning. Apparently, property owner slash proprietor and humankind are better according to this feature. Woo, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to throw it out to Mustang Tim, who I'm told is on his computer filling out his dating profile. Mustang, are you there? Yeah, well, you know, I'm not really the online dating type, but this pandemic thing has made us all do some crazy stuff, so it's online dating for me. Yeah, this should be good. I am a blank seeking a blank. I am a man. Person. I am a man. Person. Man. Person. Man. Person. Seeking a woman. Person. Person. Woman. Person. 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 This is crazy, Mitch. I'm never going to get anywhere like this. 
Man, come on! Offensive language is against our community guidelines. Please, this is rephrase. ridiculous. Forget it. Oh, Mustang, I'm sensing some pent up sexual frustration. Considering the lay of the dating land these days, though, I think all of us singles are feeling it, and some married too. We wish you luck. Lu we wish you luck, Mustang, or as you've described on your dating profile, Magnum GI. <laughs> Guys, is it hot in here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... Uh, whew, excuse me. Uh, okay, yeah, there, there, all right. I'm good, I'm good, everybody. Leaked internal Disney videos show those in charge talking about including more LGBT content into children's programming. The shocking footage featured Disney Parks diversity and inclusion manager Vivian Ware saying the company has removed all of the gendered greetings at its theme parks. No more ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. No longer will a little girl in a gown be greeted with, hello, princess. Oh, it looks like one of our viewers has called into the show. This is a first. Okay, well, uh, whoever it is must have a very strong viewpoint on this topic. All right, we have uh, Nick on the line. Nick, are you there? Yes, I, I'm, I'm so upset. You know, you know, Disney is the reason why little girls and boys want to be called prince and princess. It's, it's outrageous. They better watch out who they're being naughty to this year. Because, you know, they just might find a big lump of coal in their stocking. Have a wonderful day, okay? Ho, 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 ho. See you soon. Thanks for your call, Nick. Man, what a saint. <laughs> Now, we at Drillers don't just enjoy listening to our fans, we enjoy listening to our opposition as well. And we'd like to acknowledge two passionate detractors in particular. This first very thoughtful letter came to us just a few weeks ago. And it came with two copies of Druthers. Sending this back so you can dispose of it. This is such a load of conspiracy theory crap. I don't want it contaminating my recycle box. Regards, science. <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't sent by math, because it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. And these guys actually paid to have this sent back to us. What's more, I'm told, we were actually able to reuse the stamps that they used to send out more druthers. So, thanks for the help, science. This next one comes from a thrice vaccinated senior citizen in New Brunswick. I read a quarter of your first page of your paper. I will not call a newspaper. What drivel. I now realize that the anti-vaxxers are not just against vaccines, but are just dumb people being led by those with a destructive agenda, agenda in general. The good thing that will come out of this is that in 12 to 24 months, there will be a whole lot less of you on this earth. A great many of you will die of COVID-19 or its side effects. Thank you. A thrice vaccinated senior citizen from New Brunswick. Well, we want to thank you for reading even a little bit of the paper. It's not designed to offend, it's designed to debunk, and we're glad we could debunk this terrible misinformation you've received that all the unvaccinated people would be dead because we're still kicking, and we hope you are too, you crazy kook. <laughs> Man, I am really getting hot, you guys. Is it is it hot in here, Bob? Is it just me? Woo, boy. All right. <sighs> okay, more headlines. Robots patrol the streets of lockdown Shanghai, China, reminding citizens control to. Robots patrol the streets of lockdown Shanghai, China. Reminding citizens to control the soul's desire for freedom and follow COVID-19 restrictions. Drones are also flying near high-rises in the area, giving off the same message. Wow, man. I wonder... I wonder what that must be like. This is not one of the government approved songs. Please control your soul's desire for freedom. We got a runner.
Wow, that seems like something straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> Can I get a glass of water or something? I just am feeling a little bit lightheaded, that's all. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Bill S7 sets extremely low standards to seize and search phones at the border. Bill S7, which recently passed in its first reading in the Senate, would give border agents the authority to digitally examine travelers' phones and laptops and make copies of their emails, text messages, and photos when leaving or returning to Canada. The standard set is that an officer merely needs reasonable general concern, for which is alarmingly vague, to search a Canadian's device. For more on this, we go out into the field where sexually frustrated Mustang Tim is attempting to cross the border right now, apparently on his way to Buffalo to meet a woman I'm told he matched with online. Tim? Hey there, how you doing today, sir? I'm great, yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fantastically well, thank you for asking. So, uh, what brings you down to, uh, to New York? I just uh, heading over to Buffalo. Really? What's yeah, your business yeah. in Buffalo? I just uh, going on a date there. Uh, be back in a couple couple hours. I think. A date, like a romantic date? A date, yeah. Just going to meet a, a lady friend. Oh, you know her? She's well, that's going to be just going to meet for the first time, actually. Oh, so it's a blind date. I guess you call it that. Cause, you know, this online dating thing everyone's doing these days. Is that right? Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Is that your cell phone there? Can I see that, please? Uh, yeah. Let's this, hand it right here, please. Here. Put it in my hand. Thank you. They need a passcode? Uh, they need a passcode? I... Yeah, you got a passcode for it? What's the passcode? Uh, 4321. 4321. Okay, just a minute, please. Oh my good God. Carl! You're not going to believe this. What? what? Come, come take a look at this. <laughs> look at this guy's got on his cell phone here. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Ooh. That is embarrassing. Uh, I would not uh, want anybody to see that. Let's put that in the why, private folder. Why would anyone put a thing a picture like that? I can't believe it. Did he use a mirror for that shot or what? Like, how do you get that angle, man? Oh my good God! Oh. Okay, we're gonna say we're gonna show that boys later. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you enjoy your blind date in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Well, yeah. Safe now. You here? <laughs> Just we'll forget it. Make sure you wear a raincoat. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna have to check back in with Mustang. Jeez, I hope everything's okay, including his car. Fiat Tim doesn't have the same ring to it. Thank you. <laughs> now, we're gonna try a little something different here on The Observer, and I'm gonna read three absurd stories, but one of them is not true. Comment below which one you think is fake, and next month we will pick one lucky winner who will receive a free Faraday glove and a shout out in next month's episode. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Here they are. Canada's recently released 2022 budget pushes the exploration of a central bank digital currency and includes restrictions on crowdfunding platforms and an investigation into cryptocurrency. The latter two provisions are some of the sanctions the government imposed under the Emergencies Act to stop the Freedom Convoy protest. In his latest bid for re-election, Premier Doug Ford, whose poll numbers have dwindled as of late, is making a slew of promises to those willing to volunteer for his government program called Chip In. Doug Ford's latest proposal to incentivize Ontarians, Ontarians to get microchipped will allow those who volunteer for the futuristic program to drive all toll roads for free. Hunter Biden helped finance a U.S. military bioweapons research facility. An investigation into Hunter Biden's laptop emails reveals Hunter Biden helped secure millions of funding in U.S. Contra contractors in Ukraine specializing in deadly pathogen research. Okay, remember to write your answers in the comments and tune in next month and find out who won. All right, everybody, that's it for The Observer. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out my new show, Fighting with People on the Internet, coming soon. <laughs> keep loving, keep learning, keep on observing. Mitch, the Iceman out. Guys, I'm not feeling so good. Seriously, like, what did they put in this cobra water? Like, I, did you read the ingredients, Bob? Made by Pfizer. Oh. 
Okay, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> have, a, have, a, have a good trip, yeah, sir. Yeah, yourself a wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> you blew it! You blew it, Mustang! Damn it! Come on now! Get making... along now, you hear? Yes. Alright, let's do it again. Make me fucking laugh here. Here we go. You're right. awesome, man. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Good Jesus. Right from the start of that? Or what? Okay. Yeah, right from the start. What do you think you're doing here, buddy? I'm trying to come to my, my country here? It's America. <sighs> okay. Alright, it's the land of the free, the land of the brave. <laughs> we don't put up with this kind of BS. I don't know what's wrong with you, okay? You got that, you got that hat tied on too tight. Alright? It's 15 degrees out here. What you wearing that for here, huh? This is America. <laughs> okay. okay.